Yo, it's trying to open. It's having a good day, good week so far. Almost July 4th. Gonna be partying tonight, so story time tomorrow. Maybe way later, cause I'm known to have very strong hangovers, and yeah, I, I'm not gonna move for like hours tomorrow morning. But anyways, anyways, we got our school bus crashed. Story time. Now we got three stories. Two of them I was involved in, and one was wild. You'll hear about it. So first of all, we're going in chronological order. Uh, well, age, age order. So I guess that's, I mean, it's still numbers, but no, anyways, anyways, I'm like eight years old, right? Or less than that. I was like five or six, right? It was like kindergarten or first grade. I was so young, dude. I know it was before second grade. So what you're like seven in first grade. So I was around that age, right? I was real young and I was always kind of nervous about the bus just cause I always heard stories about older kids and stuff. And as a little kid, like when you're a first grader looking at a fifth grader, they look huge to you. You're like, whoa, you know, that's like being a freshman and seeing a senior. That's what it feels like, dude. So I remember, I don't remember it clear as day or anything. A lot of it's jumbled in my mind. But what I do remember is the yelling, right? Because we're just driving down like a residential neighborhood, like, like not a main street, not a highway. There shouldn't have been many cars on the road. So I don't know exactly how this happened, right? But my guess is someone pulled out right in front of the driver, right? Because even as a little kid, you know, you don't have seatbelts or anything. So I remember sitting in like the third the back seat on the right, right? I was sitting alone or maybe I wasn't. Because I had friends back then. <laughs> I had more friends back then. So maybe I wasn't. But I was sitting there and I remember just fully forced. Just ugh, getting like thrown forward, right? Like someone just slammed on the brakes. Exactly what happened, right? I went forward and I like hit the, the gray cushioning, you know, on the big bus seats. And it didn't hurt or anything. It was just like, whoa, what's going on, right? And the bus driver started yelling. She's like, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? I have kids on board. Why are you like just yelling and stuff? That's all I remember from that experience, right? And I remember that my mom ended up coming to my school to pick me up. So I think I got to miss school because of that. So that's pretty cool, right? The next one isn't more so a crash as much as just how sketchy it was. The dude that was driving us was a sub, right? And the normal person that we had for our bus, I loved that lady. She was an older lady. She was super nice. She would always like, like I'd always say thank you when I was walking off her by or something. Like that's how nice she was, right? She was really cool. She'd give you candy if it was your birthday or something. Or like at the end of the year, she'd try to bring donuts or something. Like a bus driver, not a teacher, a bus driver, right? So it was really cool of her. And um, she wasn't there that day. We had a sub. And I'm not one to fully judge people right away when I see him. You know, you got to talk to people. But this dude was pretty judgeable, let's say, right? I walked in and it just smelled because, you know, I have alcoholics in my family. I know it smelled like alcohol, right? And I was like, that's a little weird. But I was I was younger. So I was like, whatever, dude. Um, I can't remember. Did I say how old I was in this one? I don't know. I was young, but I wasn't as young as the first one. I was like probably in middle school or something like that. I was around there. Um, but yeah, the bus driver was not normal and he smelled like alcohol. And I got in the back and I was like, it does feel like we're swerving a little bit. And on a bus, that's really weird. Cause like, like I've never driven a bus, but with how heavy it is, I feel like it can't be that hard to drive straight, especially when you're supposed to drive slow and stuff. But you want to know how I knew, right? Other people started chatting about it because we were swerving like, like swerving, swerving. And it felt like, hey, this guy might be drunk, right? And I was talking to my friend about it. And he's like, oh, yeah, he might be. But what are we going to do about it? Like, we're stuck on here now. We just got to hope we get to school, right? And I never wanted to go to school. And because I knew about the bus situation from when I was younger, I was making jokes. I was like, man, maybe he'll just hit a pole or something or just like go into the grass so we could just go home. We don't have to go to school, right? Now, if you've taken the bus, you know this. All school buses stop for a... Uh, stop for train tracks, right? Because there's been multiple incidents where buses have been hit. It's very bad, tragic. It happened nearby, uh, like 30 or 40 years ago, it happened uh, in a town nearby mine. So that's pretty wild, right? But anyways, anyways, we get to the train and the guy doesn't stop, right? Or the train tracks, he just goes right through. And that's when I was like, oh, this dude's definitely fucked up. Cause even I know that like out of everybody, like to live, I'm sure 90% of the people that have been on a bus know you're supposed to stop at train tracks, right? So I was like, that's really good. Then, then when we turned into the school, the way you're supposed to turn in for the buses, like there's a way you're supposed to go for bus drop off, right? And then you get dropped off, you're right in front of the school. This dude, man, he went all the way around 
and turned in the exit and then came the wrong way. All the buses, right? There were like four buses facing the right way and he pulled up facing the wrong way, right? And then we had to get out and walk like in the street between the buses and walk in, dude. And then I never saw him again. So I'm sure someone must have said something. Someone must have told their parents or maybe they just knew because he was doing dumb shit like that. Like who does that? Like, I don't know. Even if I was drunk, I don't think I'd ever pull the bus in backwards. Like, maybe he was on something else, but he smelled like alcohol, so who knows, right? But this third one is bad. Like, this one was, this is the big deal. This is the whole reason I'm telling these stories today, right? We had a field trip, and so first of all, a little background story on this this incident. I had a friend in middle school, right? Everybody liked this dude. He wasn't, like, popular, though. He was just, like, I don't know how to explain. Just everybody would have been friends with him, you know? Like, he was just hilarious. Uh, I didn't, I never really saw him with too many people. He had his own little group, but this dude was just really funny, right? He was nice, but he was more just hilarious. You could be in class, and not even like, like a class clown like I was, right? He wouldn't interrupt the class. Like, you'd just be walking in the hall, and he would say a phrase or say a joke or something. It'd be hilarious. Like, if anybody was going to be a comedian, it'd be him, right? So, he's making jokes and stuff. Hilarious. And... One day we're going on a field trip and he informs us all, right? He's like, my mom's the driver of the bus that I'm going to be on, right? And we all were taking, not all of us taking different buses, but there was like five or six buses. There was a lot of us, like it was like our whole class going, right? And this was in middle school as well. So I don't know, maybe it was like the whole eighth grade class, the whole seventh grade class, whatever it was, but it felt like everybody was there, right? And we take all these, all these, um buses there and like i said the kid told us that his mom it was his her first time like driving kids on a bus and that like he was excited to be on the bus with her right this is why it's so bad like just hear that you see you sound yeah sorry you hear how sweet that sounds like yeah he just wants to be with his mom that's pretty cool right and he's a nice dude like he's funny he didn't deserve what happened to them right so we're on the way to school and i had friends on that bus right and you start seeing people post on snapchat right they're on the side of the road and the bus looks fucked right like it looked like someone had like halfway crushed it with one of those car crushers like breaking bad you know or like baby driver when they crush the cars it looked like the bus the whole front half just got smashed forward right and it was like jesus christ and all these kids are posting this on their story right like they're posting pictures some people are posting videos but the videos are like they were really bizarre because like you shouldn't post if someone got hurt and there were kids like not laid out like knocked out and stuff but they were like sitting on the ground like you could tell people were hurt and no one had a video of the crash but there were all these pictures of um there were all these pictures of the front of the bus and videos from like how the inside of the bus looked there were windows broken and shit i thought those windows were like i know they're not bulletproof but i thought they were strong you know it's protecting kids and man i felt so bad for this dude because like that was his mom's first time and that happened, right? And I was trying to find out the backstory for a while, right? Because they didn't have, they got picked up by another bus and they went back home, including the kids that were on that bus, right? So two, two out of the like eight buses didn't even go to the field trip, right? So the rest of us, we don't want to be there. We all want to know what happened, like what? So we didn't hear anything all day about it, except for people posting whatever they posted, right? We get done, we get back to the school and we're about to go home, right? And I find the dude and, um, or I found one of his friends because I don't even think he was at school anymore. He might, like that wouldn't even make sense for him, for me to see him there. So I'm sure I saw one of his friends or maybe he had a brother. I think it was one of his friends though in the group. And I was asking what happened? Like, does anybody know what happened? So, so what they said, what happened was you had to drive on a highway, right? Because for the field trip was far away, we had to be on the highway. Someone, you know, <laughs> that just came off the arm off the on-ramp or off right no it must have been the on-ramp they went on the on-ramp went right in front of the bus just like what happened to us in the neighborhood but think about it on the highway going like 50 60 miles an hour that's what they said i don't know if that's the truth exactly or if the bus driver was in the wrong but i just remember the kid being really like uh distraught right like he was really going through it he was like man, my mom is really nice and she just got this job and now this happens. He was really sad. I remember that for like days and it really, it like messed me up internally because that dude is so nice. He was so cool. He didn't deserve that at all. So it's just one of those things where it's like, God damn it. Like why did bad things happen to good people? One of those, right? But yeah, I mean, our bus crash, my bus crash was nothing compared to 
that one because people are hurt from that. People had to go to the doctor and shit, or the hospital, not the doctor, but they had to go to the hospital and shit. Like, people had, uh, I don't know about, I don't want to say they had broken arms or broken legs, but I know people were seriously hurt. And, like, there's no seatbelts on a bus, so you you hit something 60 miles an hour and stop real quick, kids are going to go flying. You see the videos of them going up usually, but I don't know, dude. I don't even want to think about it, to be honest, but that must have been rough. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope everyone has a good day, a good 4th of July. I know I'm going to try to. And, yeah, if you ever need anything, you can comment. I do my best to answer all the positive ones. If you're going through something, need someone to talk to for real, no one's answering, you know, you could DM me. My Instagram's attached to my YouTube. You'll see the link. So you just go in there and DM me, and I'll get back to you within a day or two. But thanks for watching. Be safe and peace out.